Today, I'm going to be telling you about what I think about this Power Shot stapler. Stick with us. Welcome to the Handyverse, where we approach home ownership mindfully and uh, turn to DIY as a first resort when we can to learn and uh, to improve our living space and hopefully inspire you to do the same. Um, today, we're talking about power shot stapler I'm back down in the basement again uh, I'm putting some more insulation up if you saw what I did in the laundry room uh, I used closed cell foam to insulate the laundry room here I had open cell foam for insulation in the workshop and the rest of the basement which means I have to put a vapor barrier on and in order to uh, put a vapor barrier on uh, I needed a stapler I didn't have one um, so I, I wanted to pick one up. I didn't put a lot of thought into it. All I did know was that I wanted to use a stapler that had forward action. So uh, by that I mean you put your force at this end of the stapler. This is where the exit is and it lets you keep the pressure against the surface when you're when you're pushing the staple through as opposed to your standard staplers where you're squeezing down here and not necessarily keeping pressure on the top here to drive the staple into the board so i knew i wanted a, a forward action stapler uh, i went and i picked up this power shot and uh, i started to use it in the rest of the basement and i thought i would take the opportunity to show you here what i thought of it given that i already have the vapor barrier tacked up in here I have some experience with this now. This particular stapler is the uh, Aero Power Shot model 5700M. And uh, what's unique about this, again, it's forward action. But it also, as you can see here, it takes brad nails in addition to just staples. So you can use it as a nailer in addition to just a staple gun. I'm probably not going to use that uh, because I do have a nailer already. Um, but it's a nice feature to have if you're looking for something that can do both. This one can. You just need to make sure that you load it. This side has the picture of the brad nail and the stapler here. This side shows staple only. So when you load it, you need to make sure the brad nails go in the same side that it has the picture of. It's the same side that has the window to show you how many staples you have left uh, in your cartridge. So the Keep that in mind, brad nails go in the same side that your window is. Picture's right there, just go by that. To load staples in it, just pull out this cartridge here and drop your staples in the, in the back end. Uh, I'm using 12 millimeter staples um, because I'm driving vapor barrier into uh, just strapping. Uh, so that should be more than sufficient. So load them in and replace the spring. Pretty simple, nice and easy to do, and you're ready to go. I'm not going to be using brad nails in this. Like I said, I have another nailer, so uh, I'm not going to be testing that part of it. So I hesitate to call this a full review, but uh, in terms of staples, that's how you get those in there and ready to go. One thing to note, this does use standard uh, T50 staples, which uh, it recommends using Arrow, of course, but uh, any T50 staple will do. Uh, and then same with the brads. You want to make sure you have the the right bat brads for this. It only takes up to, I believe it's a 7 16th of an inch, so not that long. So if you're looking for this for a nailer, you, uh, it depends on what you want to do. Uh, if you're looking for a nailer to nail boards together, it's probably not going to do it. But if you're looking for something to tack on a piece of plywood on a surface, um, to add some trim to something, this, this could do the job for that. But uh, keep in mind, it does do brads, just not very long ones. Because I am doing vapor barrier, I need to run some uh, acoustic sealant around the perimeter, and then uh, then I have a spot to drive some nails in it. I will drive some and I will record it and, and show you what I think of it. So what you'll notice here is that the stapler does a great job of driving the nails into the, uh, into the strapping through the vapor barrier. Um, and also, uh, because I have 12 millimeter staples, it also staples well into the styrofoam itself. Uh, 
but one thing I did have a problem with, I did get some frequent jams with this stapler. Usually when I'm not quite flush to the surface with the whole stapler, so in hard to reach areas, that was the worst. I probably could have mitigated this by getting slightly shorter staples, but I, I was using the staples that are recommended for what I was doing and uh, and still I, got, I did get some jamming. Um, keep that in mind if you, if you do pick up this stapler. So I ran about 20 feet of this vapor barrier already and I've had it jam up five or six times within that. So it can be quite frustrating when you're in the middle of a project and then you find that the uh, staple gun jams on you right in the middle of what you're trying to do. However, it's not that hard to clear the jams, so I'll show you how we do that. Of course, the staple gun didn't actually jam up when I was doing the demonstration on video, so uh, I don't have a jammed stapler, which, uh, which is a good thing. Maybe that means that I'm just getting the hang of it and uh, getting the feel for the stapler, uh, keeping constant pressure when I'm, uh, when I'm using it. But regardless, I'll show you how to clear a jam in case that you do run across it. All you'll need is a Phillips screwdriver, and uh, you may or may not need a set of pliers, um, needle nose, or otherwise to pull out any staples that are stuck or jammed in the thing. So you'll start out by removing this screw here. You'll know it by, it's the one that has the uh, nut on the opposite side, so that is the one that you want to remove. Um, you do not want to remove these here because that opens up the whole thing and it, and it could be difficult to get back together if you if you take these apart. So actually we should start by removing the, uh, the staple spring and then any uh, free staples that are that are still in the thing. But uh, so then we're going to go to this screw and remove that. And with this you want to be careful not to strip the screw because it is a specialty screw. It's a post with a th with some threads on the end, and uh, I don't know how easy it is to get a replacement for that if you uh, if you happen to strip it. So when you take it apart, also do not lose the nut that goes with it. But once you have that, you want to grip the the uh, I don't know what you call it the rail inside it. We'll go with rail. Sounds good. And attempt to pull it straight back. to remove the cartridge there. And if you have any nails or staples, sorry, uh, jammed in here, this is where you might want to use a pair of needle nose pliers to pry them out. Um, so you gotta check check that it's clear here. I don't know if you can, how well you can see that. It's the exit point for the staples. But you also want to make sure that there's nothing jammed inside the uh, the cartridge rail here either. Then of course to reassemble it, it's just the opposite. We want to slide this back in. And you'll know it's you'll know it's in right when the hole here lines up so you see I don't quite have it there maybe you can't see I don't know but just push it in until this hole you can see through it that's where your post goes down through this side is for the nut the way I do it is just put the nut in here uh, actually let me show you it has a capture here for the nut, so you don't need a uh, wrench for it. So you can hold it in place with your finger, get it in place, hold it in place with your finger, turn it over, put the post in, and then just use your screwdriver to tighten it up. Then of course you just need to put your staples back in. Put your spring back in and you're ready to get going again. Hopefully you don't need that, but uh, there it is in case you do. There you go, that's that's kind of it. That's my thoughts on this stapler. Uh, I kind of wish it jammed on me when I was doing the video recording, but it didn't. Um, overall, I'll take that as a positive uh, because I do, I do really like the stapler. 
Um, it's not that I use a ton of staplers and I have lots of experience to compare them, but uh, just from my own personal use and using tools, uh, it, 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 I do like the forward action. Um, it helped drive, make sure I drove the staples in well. Um, the jamming seems to have cleared up for me. Uh, I'm going to chalk that up to my own technique. Um, but I have looked at other reviews that said that they also have the same issue. Uh, just something to keep in mind. Um, that's all I got. I like it. Uh, if you like this, hit like, hit subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video where I'll give you my thoughts on whatever we're working on next. See ya.